Recording. All righty. Today is a great day. I have got so many oil leaks. Uh, well, where my vehicles, this is right there is where my motorcycle was leaking yesterday. Not this one. Uh, but my, my bare lair. So we're headed to church. I want to tell you all a story today. But first, let's pray. Jesus, give us a safe trip. Pray that you would help us to uh, keep the shiny side up and touch all the drivers that we pass and let them be able to see us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So we're headed to the church. Uh, tonight, we're watching a movie. We're going to be watching a movie at the church. It's called Do You Believe? And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a really, really good movie. Uh, Jim's bringing his big screen. It's like 150 inches. We put it out. Uh, put it on the sanctuary. Put it on the sanctuary. Put it on the stage. And it's, it's, it's just massive. So it's going to be awesome. So I can't wait. Cannot wait. We watched uh, the movie Flywheel last week. It was really good, too. Flywheel. That's a movie that's put out by Sherwood, which is the that's the the people that made the movie Facing the Giants and uh, Fireproof. Seems like they made another one too, but I can't remember. I'm trying to think. Oh, so <clears throat> once we get out on the main oh the main road, I'll share my story with you. And see what you guys think. I need to wash this helmet. It is super dirty. Super, super dirty. So, But I do hope that everybody's having a great Wednesday. And I hope that if you get to watch this video, I hope that you uh, will eventually make your way out to Crossover Church. We're 5430 Highway 129 South in Cleveland. Hey there. So, I actually, um, I have another helmet, and I was trying to vlog with that other helmet, but uh, it doesn't show any of this stuff here. Like, it just shows the road up, and so that's why I haven't posted anything or put a video, put a video out this week, because I was trying that new helmet, and I like the helmet. The helmet is awesome. The sound quality is awesome. There's no buffeting. Uh, wind noise in your helmet. I mean, it's awesome. The helmet is killer. But uh, I want to be able to see that. Like, I call it the cockpit. I don't know. I call this the cockpit. I don't know what y'all call it. So, anyway. So, all right. So, I will tell you a story. Uh, yesterday, I... I showed you the oil leak that was from my motorcycle. Well, I have, I changed the stator and the voltage regulator. Long story short, I didn't do something right. It's leaking oil all over the place. So I thought I'm going to drop it off at City Slickers. Jason Ogletree, he's great. So I left the church on that motorcycle and it takes about three and a half minutes to get from the church to get to uh, Jason's shop. And I thought, well, I want to do a sermon illustration about this. So uh, I wanted to see how long it took me to ride there versus how long it would take me to walk back. And uh, because I think that, you know, a lot of times we'll, we'll say that my motorcycle, uh, me riding was with the power of a bike, right? It was the, it was under, it was something that was beyond myself. I can't, I cannot produce the same power that a motorcycle produces, and because of that, it took three and a half minutes to get there. Ow, that hurt. Bug hit me. Um, and then on the way back, when I was walking, it took me like 52 minutes to walk back. So three and a half minutes under the power of something else versus under my own power. 52, 53 minutes. I can't remember. Um, I actually accidentally cleared my clock off on my phone, and I was timing it on my on my phone. And it made me think. <clears throat> you know, that's we try to live life on our own, and it's just hard. You can't live life on your own and make as much progress and do as good as if 
you have God leading you. Um, if you let God handle things and let God be the, the author or the controller of your life, it is just, it's better. And you get to, you'll cover more ground. You will, uh, <laughs> you'll get there faster. You'll get there safer. I mean, because trust me, man, cars were zipping by me yesterday and I was walking on the side of the road and uh, I could have got hit, you know, I went on my motorcycle. Of course, I could get hit too, but at least I'm with traffic and I'm, and I'm keeping up. So, But isn't that what we try to do in our lives? And uh, constantly we do that. I'm not a good storyteller. I get distracted too easy and I probably don't do a real good job but the whole point was it took me three and a half minutes to get there under the power of something that was greater than me and it took me almost an hour to get back under my own power and I think that in our walks and in our daily lives if we would just give it over to God man oh and then let me tell you this so on the way back I did have people that would stop and offer to help I had a couple of people hey man well first of all when I was leaving uh, City Slickers uh, Mandy and Jason, you know, they had offered, hey, man, do you need a ride back to the church? And I said, no, I'm going to walk. I'm going to do it on my own, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to clear my head. Just think. Um, but you're going to find out a lot of times <clears throat> God is, like, throwing things in your path, trying to, man, he's trying to show you that he is for you. He's not against you. So I had them, and then I stopped, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm walking up the road, and I actually had two people that pulled over and, hey, man, can we give you a lift somewhere, which is crazy because they don't know me. Here I am, this white boy that's got a, you know, a, a book bag, and I'm walking. It's just crazy. But, you know, so they stopped and offered, and then I got stopped by uh, the police. The police. So I'm walking up the side of the road, and... All of a sudden, I hear a siren. I turn around, and it's a cop. He's pulled up right behind me, and it scared me. So there was five, five cops that showed up, and uh, they're like interrogating me. You know, hey man, uh, we had a call about a guy that fit your description with a backpack. To which I said, huh, that's funny. So. He had a backpack like mine. They said, yeah. I said, so he must have went to Cycle Gear and bought a motorcycle backpack. Wow. So, and it's a, obviously the cops were called. It was somebody in, so I had three White County deputies there, two Hall County. I don't, it's just, it freaked me out, man. And, but I was sitting there and I'm like, man, so I'm getting interrogated. And you know what? All that could have been avoided if I would have just gotten a car and let somebody take me to the church. And I bring that up because, which, oh, by the way, I didn't get a ticket. It wasn't me that they were looking for. So I got to say that. But there's so many times that God wants to help us. And 90% of the situations that, uh, that you are in, it's because of a decision that you made. Um, there's a lot of stuff that would never have to happen in your life if you would just let God take control. I mean, think about it. Uh, and, and there are good, well-meaning people that want to help you out, too. So, I don't know. It was just kind of a, it's a crazy thing for me to do, but I just wanted to work on that story. I was like, man, I wonder, you know, how long will it take me to walk from City Slickers Motorcycle Shop back to the church? I mean, it's only a couple of miles. Now, and I had on boots, so I wasn't prepared for the walk either. Um, and even Jason was like, dude, you got on boots. Are you sure you don't want us to? I mean, and I was like, no, man, I'm good. Don't worry about it. But isn't that true? Whenever we put ourselves outside of God's plan, we're never prepared. We are never prepared. I I've heard people say this my whole life. Uh, sin will take you further than you want to go. It'll keep you longer than you want to stay. And it will make you pay way more than you could ever pay. You ever thought about that? Sin will take you further than you want to go keep you longer than you want to stay and it'll make you pay way more than you could ever pay so <clears throat> that was my story yesterday and it was awesome it was a good day but I thought man I could I could just share that with y'all and and let you know hey if you're trying to do life on your own stop stop trying to do life on your own it ain't working 
And what's the definition of insanity? Keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results? It's like, come on, man. We've tried it our way. I've tried it my way. You've tried it your way, and it's not working. It's just not working, so why not give it to God? And that's easy to say. It's really hard to do. Uh, you know, I have things in my in my life that I struggle with. I still struggle with stuff. And uh, people will be like, hey, Dwayne, just give it to God. Well, it it's hard. Like, I'll tell myself, all right, I'm giving this to God, This whether it's a situation or, um, you know, uh, a mentality all right i'm going to give it to god i'm going to give it to god and then <clears throat> before i know it i'm right back in that same pit again so it's a lot easier said than done when somebody says give it to god but <laughs> give it to god all right and you know what and god doesn't get tired of you giving it to him i know for me uh if i do something for somebody or Let's say somebody offends me and they hurt me. I, I may forgive them once or twice. But then after that, it's like, dude, I'm tired of getting burned here. You know, so I may not be their friend or their buddy. I may cut off that relationship. God will never do that. God doesn't do that. God, he doesn't cut you off. I mean, he does forgive. He is love. He is love. That's not just an attribute. That's what he is. That's who he is. So he will continually forgive you. He will continue to love you. And every single time that you ask for forgiveness. So when you go and you put that emotion, that substance, that whatever, you put it at his feet and go, all right, God, I'm not going back here again. I'm giving it to you. And then before you know it, you pick it up again. And then you go and give it back to God. Guess what? He's there to forgive you and to accept you again and again and again. I don't think the salvation, that's not a license to sin, you know. I think a lot of people look at well I'm saved and I'm going to heaven so I can live however I want to no I would say that if you feel like that you can live however you want to and you can continually live in sin and not feel guilty or remorseful or feel regret uh, you're probably not saved you probably never met Jesus and uh, he is definitely not the Lord of your life and it you know there's a lot of us that he's our Savior but uh, he's not our Lord so, I want to challenge you. Make Him the Lord of your life. Let Him sit on the throne. Because guess what, man? You've been the king on, on your throne long enough, and so have I. And, man, all we do is we just screw it up. We mess it up. We're not, we're not good. Oh, there comes a brother. I don't know if that's a... Oh, it's a scooter, man. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, that's Mossy Creek Campground. That's old Methodist Campground. They meet for a week out of the year in those little cabins. They're, they call them tents. But they're really like little cabins. Man, that guy's scooter back there, that looked brand new. <coughs> I should have waved at him, but I couldn't because I was pulling out. When he was pulling in, it was just too hard to wave. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my story today. I hope that it made... I hope it made sense. And uh, hopefully it made you think. And maybe it'll make you do more than think. Maybe if you're not living right and you're not where you're supposed to be, maybe this will make you take action. And uh, that would be awesome take action dude 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 I didn't realize y'all might have been looking down at the ground the whole time today I don't know what's up so I may have made a horrible video today holy crap my bad if I was looking down the whole time you didn't even see the road that ain't no good
was awesome yesterday walking up through here. Alright. We are at the church. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my story. Maybe it made you think. Maybe it pushes you to some action. And uh Whoa. There we go. Do 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 do. Something about this place, man, it's special. I like being here. I love being at the church. All right, let's pray. Lord, thank you for a safe trip here. Thank you for the story that we got to tell. I pray now, God, that you would just... Give us an awesome afternoon. Lord, help people to see you for who you are. And God, seriously, help us all to take action and to allow you to be the Lord of our life. And uh, God, because we, we do a horrible job of uh, directing ourselves, especially me, God. I screw up every day. So help me to relinquish control and to allow you to be Lord. I love you. I praise you. Help tonight to be an awesome night. Give us an awesome time watching this movie, Do You Believe? And to let lives be changed. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I will see y'all on the flip side. Thank you for watching the video. Peace out, homies.